it's asking us how many orbitals are in n equals 4. So, orbitals in n equals 4. Okay? So, for this, you can have to break down into the orbital notation. That's at least how I think of it. Okay? So, if n equals 4, right, that means L has a potential to equal 0, 1, 2, or 3. Because the way it works is that whatever n is, L, okay, L is equal to n minus 1, as in the max value for L. So that's what we have here, okay? And now, to, spe to specify what these actually mean is that... Um, each one is going to be, how I put this, representative of the S, P, D, and F shell. So we have S, P, D, and F, okay? And now each type of, um, I guess, subshell has a certain amount of orbitals. If you remember the orbital notation, okay? S, as you see on the periodic table, can only fit two electrons because it only has one orbital. So this is just one orbital, okay? And in fact, if you can actually see this by breaking it down to the, um, sorry, by breaking down to the uh, ML, okay? That's the next value you'd use. So for the S uh, shell, right? You'd have just, it's just a positive and negative values of whatever number you had there so everything included so this one just be zero this p breaks down to you know minus one in fact i'll just do this to make it a little bit easier to see minus one zero and one the d shell because it's two is going to be minus two minus one zero one two and the f is going to be minus three minus two minus one zero one two, three. And now, as I said, two electrons can go into each. So two electrons will be quote unquote in that zero for S, and there'll be two electrons each for every single other orbital, okay? So it's safe to say what we can do is count how many orbitals we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So with that being said, that's actually going to be our answer, okay? There's a cool way to do this to where whatever value for n, you can actually just um, square it. So the number of orbitals is equal to n squared. But these are the orbitals that unfortunately we don't really talk about. When you start getting, um, unfortunately, past like five and up, for example, when you pass four, um, we don't really discuss the type of orbital where L is equal to four. We usually discuss these ones, zero through three. But exactly, that's why I like to count it out like that. And you would have a total here, okay, of 16 orbitals as we were able to count out. So that being said, see how we did. Okay, so normal orbitals, yep, n squared. And we actually broke it down. And we see here that the ML is zero for L equals one, negative one, zero, and one. And we did that exactly. And we counted out, we have 16 orbitals, okay? All right. So with that being said, let's move on now to the next question. Number 14. Okay.